My name is Maria Elena Salinas. I am a journalist and currently I'm a contributor with ABC News and a consultant with the Race and Culture Unit. I think one of the things that makes the Latino community powerful is the fact that we can be bilingual, bicultural, that we can live and navigate these two worlds um, in a very special way. Uh, so our Latinidad is really our superpower and it's something that we inherit um, and that we continue to provide to our own children and hopefully the next generation and the next generation. It's definitely our superpower. I've always been very proud of this community. I think one of the things that makes me feel most proud is just how much we contribute to the culture of this country. Um, we know that Spanish was spoken before English in this country. We know that the signs of our culture are everywhere across the country, in the names of the states, in the names of the cities, in the names of the streets. We know that people in this country love our foods, they love our music, and the United States would not be the United States if it wasn't for the Latino influence in, in the culture here. I'm not one to believe that you reach your potential because the moment that you reach any kind of high, you have no room to grow. And the only thing that you can do at that point is try to maintain or start going down. So I hope that we never reach our potential because I think we have to constantly be striving to continue to grow, continue to contribute. Um, we've done so much already. I think that we are such a sophisticated community, a very empowered community, a more educated community than before, um, a more politically savvy community. Um, we contribute so much to the economy in this country, but when will we reach our potential? Hopefully never, because our potential is so big that it will continue to grow and will have absolutely no limits. The way that I envision the future of our community, or at least this is what I would hope, is that one day we are seen for what we are, an integral part of this society. I look forward to the day that we are not seen or considered as foreigners in our own country, because this is our country. And hopefully I'll live to see that day. Raizada Festival has been an amazing experience for me. Um, I think um, living in a community that is different from the one that I was born in, I now live in Miami and I was born in Los Angeles, being here and see the diversity of the people that come here just fills me with joy. I feel that our culture is being celebrated. I feel that our accomplishments are being celebrated here. I think that we are also talking about the challenges that we have ahead and preparing to face some of those challenges. So it's been an incredible experience. It's been very colorful and a lot of fun, um, but also very deep and intense. So I'm so happy to have been part of the first Reisada Festival and hopefully will be part of many more in the future. I want to congratulate the Reisada team for doing such an impeccable job in putting together this conference. Of course, first of all, with Olga Segura and Monica Ramirez. I know that this was their baby, their idea, and we also know that it takes a village and that they cannot do it alone. So it's the whole team and everyone that was involved in every single aspect of it, I think needs to be praised and, and should feel very proud for what they've accomplished, for what you've accomplished. Mm -hmm.